and we're live today it's going to be a loophole mark six it's a three to 18 power with a 44 millimeter objective it is first focal plane um, it has a side parallax uh, the adjustments are in minutes of angle and not mils this time but it does have a mil reticle i have set everything up same specifications right i gorilla tighten these and then 20 inch pounds on the us optics um, aluminum 7075 rings i've adjusted the reticle to the lowest number i could get which was 18 for um, resolution again remember that's how many uh, gray pixels it's picking up and then the target resolution same thing that we did for the us optics lr17 we set this to where the infinity mark is and same with the collimator okay so now we're getting ready to start the test you can see right now that they advertise 18 uh, power magnification they're running 17.9 that's pretty darn close and there's they're floating at a 70 to 71 percent light transmission which is good so we're going to start the test now the first test will be the fire test okay it says focus the eyepiece we did it says focus the reticle and center it we did focus the target we did and we're ready to go fire test failed we have a 2.3 minute of angle aim point change now let's look down here at the scope okay we look at the scope rings I have no drag marks on the scope anywhere okay I do not see any movement again these were tightened down to 20 inch pounds I don't see any Jimmy see any drag marks on the scope for movement no machine is tight everything's good there's nothing scope is not it's returning right back Collimator is tight. Camera is tight. Nothing. Okay, so what we're going to do is I want every scope manufacturer to feel that I gave them a fair chance. I'm going to start to test over, and you guys can watch me make sure everything is tightened down, and then we'll do it again, and we'll see what happens. And now I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to start gorilla tightening everything. Right? Gorilla tight. All kinds of stuff gorilla tight. Now just to double check our scope rings, take my torque wrench, I'm going to double check 20 inch pounds, click, click, <clears throat> when you guys are hearing the clicks, it was definitely tightened down the way it should have been. All right. 20 inch pounds right there so we're good on that front now we're going to make sure all this stuff is tightened down nice and tight give everybody a fair chance here okay what we'll do so we're going to center everything up make sure the green and blue dots are as close as we can to get them And we'll leave it right there. Okay. Now, the power is set to maximum. We are on infinity and infinity. We've mounted the sight. Okay, we focused everything. You can see we've got a radical resolution of seven. Target resolution, 113. Light transmission, 17. All right, here we go. Boy. Okay, fire cool. test failed. 2.3. Minutes of angle, aim point change. That's two in a row. Okay, um, so there's no gimmicks here. There's no cheating. Um, it's a fair test. We're going to continue to move on and see how the rest of the scope performs. Now we're going to set our focus to 100. And again, we're going to go to where it's marked on the knobs. All right. Now we're going to hit OK. Set the collimator to the same. It is the same. Set on 100. Focus test two. We did pass the focus test two. You can see the reticle is at zero. I mean, that is a perfect, clear, crisp reticle. So we're going to need to recenter because the scope moved. Get the crosshairs direct center of the target. 
Looks pretty good. Now it's getting a bad scan. We probably have to adjust the diopter focus a little bit. There we go. We're at 15 right now, 16. Okay, it says power magnification 2.9. And then light transmission. Uh, light transmission is at 36%. Um, see if we can clear that up at all. But I think that's I think that's what we're going to end up rolling with. Again, these are the same test parameters that we used on the LR17. You can see the scan size is 80. Okay, it looks like we're still getting some bad scan errors. That's a little better. Okay, power is at 3%. Alright, we're going to hit OK. Power test 2 failed. Now the only reason that we failed was that we had a uh, illumination. Okay, we're not getting the light transmission of 60%, which was the minimum standard that I set. Um, we also have a two minute of angle point of impact change, all right, or aim point shift. We're going to hit OK. Now we're going to move the target to the right four clicks. So I'm going to pull right four clicks. One, two, three, four. We're going to go up. One, two, three, four. We're going to push left. And then finally down. We're going to hit OK. Box test passed. So we did pass the box test. It does return to zero. Alright, last part. We need to go to max power. Infinity. Infinity. What we'll do is we'll move this so that we're centered back on reticle again. Good, right there. Okay, so we got good reticle resolution. We got good target resolution. 18 power and 71%. All right, we'll hit OK. Now we're going to center the reticle we just did. Center the target. Yep. This will be fire test number two. Now we passed fire test number two. For some reason we did not pass fire test one. I'm not sure why, but we will run the test a third time. Again, just to give everybody a fair chance. Okay, now we're gonna move to the parallax test. This is where I'm gonna move the camera slightly up until we receive a scope shadow on the bottom. Just like so. Okay, I'm gonna save. Now we got to slide the camera down. We get that same scope shadow on the top. Gonna hit OK. And now we need to return the camera to the center position, which again will be judged by my eyeball. Okay. And now we're gonna hit OK. Parallax test is passed. And we'll hit All right. Do we want to print? Yes, we will print this report, but we will also do another one. Okay, so here we are. I have the same Leopold Mark 6, 3 to 18 power, 44 millimeter objective. This will be the third test that we run through uh, just to make sure that we did everything we could to get the best results. So we're focused to eyepiece. You can see here reticle resolution. We're at 14. We're good. We're set to infinity on the scope and on the collimator. Now we're going to fire. Okay, fire test failed. So we failed the power test because our magnification went over 18 power. Um, so really, we didn't fail. We passed the fire test, but we did go outside of the parameters I set for the magnification. We'll hit OK. Now we're going to move on to the focus test. We'll set the sight power to maximum. We are on 18 power. The focus on the scope is infinity. The collimator set to infinity. Parallax adjustment to 100. Now a lot of these scopes, if it says infinity or 100, it's just a reference mark, right? But because we're doing a scope test for each manufacturer, we're gonna put it on the marks that they give us to see how close or how far away they are from actually being at that correct target resolution. So we'll set the collimator now to 100. Focus test two is passed. Alright, we're going to do the power test now. 
We're going to power down to three power. Now you can see we have good target resolution. We've got good reticle resolution. Power is spot on at three, but we're still falling short in the light transmission. Okay, power test two failed. We are below that 60% light transmission. Okay, now we're going to do the box test over again. Box test is passed. Now we're moving on to the second fire test. You ready to fire? Okay, fire test failed. Again, we're failing because of that magnification. Uh, but we did not have the huge impact shift that we had on the previous two tests. Moving on, our last test will be the parallax test. Parallax test is passed, so we did not move more than a half minute of angle. Site testing complete, we will print this report. I've noticed it is an occasional situation like this where a brand new scope just needs to settle from impact. Something was loose in the scope to begin with. Whatever it was, it has settled in and corrected itself. I've seen this before. So that is the Leopold Mark VI 3 to 18 power. Um, you know, it did very well. So we're going to look at the results now. Amber, would you mind? Paper. All right. So for the first fire test on the, uh, the, the second testing that we did, uh, we failed the magnification. We were over 18 power by 0.1. Not a big deal at all. Uh, we had zero aim, uh, aim point change. Uh, where I do see an aim point change was the focus test. The focus test number two where we powered, uh, we set the focus down to 100. We had an MOA change of 0.5, so half a minute of angle change. Um, for our parallax, or for our power test too, second power test where we dialed down to the lowest power setting, we did fail because of light transmission. Uh, we did not meet the 60%. We were at 40, and we had an MOA shift of 0.2 minutes of angle. The box test, the standard I set was one minute of angle. And you needed to be able to dial and come back within a minute of angle of where you were when you started. Uh, we only had a 0.4 MOA shift. And everything else, uh, fire test two, parallax two test was really good. So what I can say about the Leopold right now is, um, Looks like a, a fairly good scope. Uh, anytime it does have a shift, uh, in point shift, it's about a half minute of angle. And uh, you know, besides on the lowest power setting, the light transmission is 70% almost very consistently. So overall, not bad, uh, not bad results. If you look at power test, the original power test where we were on max power, okay. The standard I set was of 120, and we actually hit 127, so we ended up failing for that as well. Uh, not a big deal for the most part. Decent optic, and again, you know, we tested it three times just to make sure that we weren't getting any crazy uh, errors. So we're going to move on to our next scope, and I'll be back in however long until you watch my next video. Totally went blank. I don't know what I was saying what I was thinking. Okay.